So we decided to come to Starbucks at Eco Botanic. It's quite funny. So we're all social distancing. And we've got one chair, one chair at the table. So we can only have one of us sitting at it. The other one's gonna have to stand. These two people are just standing. Seems pretty pointless. The whole thing is a bit shit. We went to a place yesterday and it, they had four seats at a, a four person table and you couldn't sit opposite other people but you could sit diagonally to them. You can only have two people. It's crazy. If you're coming as a family of four, I don't get it. So what is this, my baby? Citrus thingy. Triple, triple and? Flavorful and refreshing. And how nice is it? It's a little bit sweeter than I would like. Okay. It is citrusy and it has got a, a bit of grapefruit in there. You know I like the grapefruit. She likes Would the grapefruit. Like no, I wouldn't. What's this? Fried spring chicken, French toast, stuffed boiled eggs with toast. I could have done that. Stroby, stroby. I got a delivery today that, to be honest, I don't think I was really expecting, so I'm not sure that this is it. Let me, let me get a knife. I ordered a um, Apple iPhone SE and a Lightning 2 microphone adapter. Um, now, the microphone adapter was supposed to come in like three to five days, and the Apple SE wasn't due until uh, June 1st or 2nd. However, this box has come this morning and it's got a battery sign on it and it's a lot heavier than I would expect for it just to be a lead and also a lot bigger than I would expect. A little bit from DHL. Pretty sure it says it's from Apple. So, let's have a look. There you go, this is the box. Now, one thing I think I should confess right now is I've never, never owned a, an Apple phone. I have had an iPod Touch, which I used to really like. And I basically had sworn off Apple products for a long, long time. I used to have a, a Mac Pro that my brother-in-law gave me, but that was probably 14 years ago. After that, I bought one of the beautiful white Mac laptops, the plastic ones, which I've traveled around the world with. Um, which did me a very good job until the battery started bursting at the back. Anyway, let's open this box. Wow. And there it is. That, and this wasn't coming until June. I'm not going to complain, because obviously it's early. This is it. This is the box. And as I said, I've never, never had an Apple phone before. Never had a problem with my. Right, I'm gonna because the micro is getting in the way. And um, the weird thing is, this isn't gonna be used for a telephone. This is going to be my main vlogging camera. Oh, I like that. So I got the 128 gigabyte version, and I got it in black. I was gonna go for the 256, but it really is just my. My blocking camera.
The reason I've never bought an Apple camera, uh, Apple phone before is because I've always thought they've been hideously overpriced. And even this, which is like everyone is, is raving, right? Oh, this is a cheap, super cheap Apple. And uh, it's still costing me more than twice what my present phone cost me. So it might be, but I, as I'm basically treating it as a, a vlogging camera, and um, I don't know what's going to happen with us here in Malaysia. I don't know if, if we're going to have to move. At the moment, I did all my editing on uh, a desktop computer. And also, my present phone, much as I like it as a telephone, as a camera, is rubbish. This, I know, will do 4K footage with good stabilisation. And I know that I can edit on this. And also, I can connect this to a monitor and a mouse and a keyboard and edit that way. So because I watched the everyday dad and he told me. So, let's keep going. So, people always go on about um, the premium feel of the iPhone. Quite like the, the thing, but I'll be honest. Feels nice, but my Vivo S1 Pro feels nicer. Probably, it's got curved back, curves around on the... ...the Vivo, and um, the reason I'm not going to use this for a telephone is because it's very difficult to go vlogging and then have to use your phone at the same time, because like today I was out using this one, and I spent my whole time paying for things with my electronic wallet, my e-wallet, and that involves me then turning off the camera, getting the telephone set there. This is going to be my vlogging camera. It's light, it's easy, it's going to be with me wherever I may go, which is also what it's all about. So we've got traditional headphones. That's good because I'm not buying into the AirPod thing because I lose too many things out of my ears. So that's what I've got. I have a new vlogging phone. Usual gump there. See if it will turn on. How do we turn it on? It's missing on the side. Hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> Hello. Have a look. So where does it need things on? What does it need charging up first? Well, uh, oh, there you go. We have action. Press home to, oh, now it's doing stuff. So I guess I push, so is there anything on this button? I... Oh, English. Oh, cancel, 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 cancel. Okay, so, um, the keyboard, pushing the keyboard on the phone is perfectly fine. Got no SIM in it, I'm not putting a SIM in it. It's purely gonna be used with Wi-Fi and as a camera. People might think that's a bit of a waste, but I think this way. This isn't my telephone, this is my camera. Data and privacy. Yeah, okay. Next. This is all jolly good fun. So, jolly times. I'm all about the camera. Nothing else about this really is important to me. I suppose it, it could be an emergency telephone. But really, this is... There I am. See, I'm vlogging, so you can now see what camera I'm using. This is the Vivo S1 Pro.